Hello and welcome to a brief overview of BMC's TrueSight IT Data Analytics trial. In this video, I'll help answer some common questions about the process to configure and try the software out. In the previous introduction videos, I walked you through the architecture and hardware requirements and how to download, and then I also walked through the installation of the software. At this point, you should be ready to try out the configuration, so let's get you started. One of the first things you'll want to do is get log data into TrueSight IT Data Analytics. But first, log into the GUI with the admin login. Remember that you should change the password once you get the system loaded to collect your data. The default password is admin. I'll start by defining a new data collector. Click on the administration tab. You should see data collectors in the main window. Then click on the data collectors window with the plus sign to create a new data collector. For our example, we'll load a static file, although there are several ways to collect data through the agent or agentless means. The steps to create a new data collector are to provide a logical name and how you plan to collect the data. For our test, we'll be typing in ITDA logs for the name, and I'll select monitor file on collector agent as the type. Next, choose a target or collection host where the data will be collected. For our test, there's only one option since we only loaded the components onto a single server. Next, add the collector inputs. These may be custom for each collector type, like using local files versus SSH or uploading a file. For our test, add the directory path of c colon slash program files slash BMC software slash truesite slash ITDA slash logs. Add the name of the log file to be loaded itda.log. Next, if you click on the funnel next to the pattern at the bottom, the ITDA system will attempt to automatically analyze the log file selected and fill in the date and provide pattern options. The patterns are predefined templates that describe the data format in each log. This can be completely unstructured or customized, or can be from a content pack like Apache or Microsoft SQL, or you can create your own. Click on the Patterns, the drop-down, and then I'll be selecting ITDA from the default list. Note that the date pattern will be filled in automatically for recognized files. Otherwise, you can provide the format of the date in the log that you're reading. You can create and modify date patterns for new file types later. Next, click on the magnifying glass symbol next to the pattern. Here you'll see a sample of the data from the actual file pop up in another window. Verify that it looks correct, and then select OK to close the pop-up window. Lastly, you'll need to enter a poll interval and choose to start the collection. You can always start and stop the collection later. When all is done, select the Create button at the bottom to finish the new data collector. You should see a verification that the new data collector was created successfully. Now let's verify that the new collector is working. Back on the Data Collector screen, look at the green button to the right of the collector. This indicates that you've been successful pulling the data source. Next, you can select the checkbox to the left of the data collector and then the status button above to the right of the menu icons. A pop-up window will come up that indicates the status of the polls for the data collector. Now you're ready to search the data. Go to the main search page from the top of the menu. From here, we'll verify that we're able to connect to the query and chart the data from our log file by clicking on ITDA logs. This will go to the results graph for our ITDA log file data. You might have to adjust the time focus to get the data to show properly, but as long as you're seeing log data show up on your new TrueSight IT Data Analytics graphs, it's working properly and you're collecting the log file data. And there you have it. Check out more videos in this series for the next recommended steps for a successful trial. We highly recommend that you join our BMC's community if you have any questions. You can either go to the communities.bmc.com site and search for ITDA or type the link at the bottom of the screen that you see here. Thank you very much for taking the time to understand more about how to get started with your BMC TrueSight IT Data Analytics trial.